All right, guys, what's up? It's Mick here. Um, you know, I got a lot of interest in how to basically update or add the Google Market, things like that, to the Pan Digital novel on my last video I did on that. <clears throat> and basically, I'm going to show you guys today, hopefully, in an easy way, how to do it. Um, first thing you need to do, you need to go to slatedroid.com, um, their wiki page. Once you get there, you need to then go to the main page and then click on the list of available Android tablets. we will kick you down to a list and the one that you need to click is the Pan Digital Novel PDN. Alright, now once you get onto this page it is the black one, the one that I have. Now you may have a different one but we'll go ahead and just show you this one here. Um, it'll give you a list basically the mods. Um, here's the overview of the <clears throat> of the Pandigital novel itself. And if you scroll down here you have a list of options to modify your device. I did the Preston hack which basically is taking me to this page uh, Renaissance Communications. Uh, it's basically a hack that updates it. It's a f basically a firmware update but can potentially get the Google market, things like that with it. I'm um, going to go ahead and scroll down here. Uh, you want to click newest version is here. And you'll be taken to another page on the site. And you wanna, gonna, you're going to want to scroll down all the way to pretty much the bottom of the article. And you'll see a Polaris update.dat. Uh, basically takes you to Google Docs, gives you the option to download it. You go ahead and download it. It's, I've already got it downloaded for simplicity. Um, so you want to go ahead, open it up. Well, you don't need to open it. Alright, once you have the file, the Polaris update.dat file downloaded, what you're going to want to do is rename that file into something the uh, Novell can recognize and actually let you do the update with. Uh, let's see here. You go back to the website, and where I have highlighted here, you can see it like S64-SLST. You're want, going to want to copy that. Go back to where you have it put into a SD card. Rename, and just paste it right there. Once you have that done, you will then be able to basically just take the SD card out, put it into the Pan Digital, and start it up. But there's a trick to that, and I'll show you here once I get my camera set up. All right. Once you get all that done, you'll go ahead, press this key here, the power button, and the plus key. And hold it for seven, eight to ten seconds from what I've read. Oh, come on. Come on. All right, just got it to start basically partitioning and updating the uh, Pan Digital. Uh, it took me a few tries to get it right, so if you don't get it right the first time, have some patience, you'll eventually get it. <clears throat> and it'll verify the update. Let me go ahead and get the charger cord plugged back into it here. And it can take up to a couple minutes here, so I'm going to let it record, and then I'll try to do maybe a little fast forwarding or just to Alright, I got everything working. Uh, 
<coughs> the boot took a little longer than expected, but it was the first try. Uh, but basically, this is the update. What I actually did was updated it, the firmware on it, stuff like that. I got to get, I got to do a couple other things to get the Android market on it, which I will show you guys in a later video. I apologize. It worked last time I did it, but this time something went up in the coding. But it's the process and all that. So thanks for watching. Um, any comments, questions, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much.